In Python, all of the types that we have are either mutable or immutable. Now your standard types like int, float, boolean, string, these are immutable. That means that once you define them, they can't be changed later on. So look at this function here called mutation. We take in some list, and again, this is mutable. Now inside of here, what we're doing is appending 10 to that list and then returning LST, which is the parameter that we have. Now you might imagine that after this function is called, what's gonna happen is we're gonna make a copy of my numbers, and then we're gonna have something like one, two, three, 10 being returned from this function. Now the question becomes, what happens to my numbers, the original list? Does this change or does this stay the same? When I run this, you'll notice that it does actually change. What happens when I pass something like a mutable type as a parameter to a function is we're not making what's known as a deep copy of this list object. We're simply passing a reference to this list. So when I make a change, something like lst.append, I'm not performing this change on a brand new list. I'm modifying the existing list that was passed in. So after this function is called, what happens is we return LST, which is really just a reference to this same list. And now we have these two things, the list after the call and my numbers being the same list with those mutations.